Hi there, Christopher Westfall here. I've been absent for a few days. I'll share with you what's been going on behind the scenes. But first, they're threatening to take money away from Medicare Advantage for 2023-2024 season. Is that real? I'm going to show you the commercials that are playing right now against the Biden administration for cutting Medicare Advantage funding for the next couple of years. But first, I have some very interesting information to show you. If you have any questions about Medicare, we can help you in any way. There's the contact information right there right there. But here's what's going on in my house. And this is where we've been for the last little while. Please say hello to my first granddaughter. This is Scarlett Nicole, and she is quite perfect, actually. She was born February 25th, 2023, and she is never allowed to sleep on her own, apparently. She's always being held by somebody in my house. She is um, an absolute perfect little angel, as uh, everybody says about their grandchildren. But I'm telling you, in this particular case, it's pretty amazing how she is. Um, she smiles. She only cries when she absolutely needs something. And that little face, I mean, it's just the perfect cherub. I want to know what you think about my first granddaughter. Please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your input. I just think she's perfect, of course. So what's going on with Medicare? Well, let me just share with you what's being played uh, in the marketplace right now. And you be the judge. Of the knee. <laughs> Better than your hip. But that's the least of it. I forgot you never read Medicare. What? They might cut Medicare Advantage. Come on. They're talking about it in Washington. Cut Medicare Advantage? Higher premiums? With inflation already so high? That's nuts. She gets it. Somebody in Washington is smarter than that, aren't they? We're about to find out. For 30 million seniors, Medicare Advantage is Medicare. Tell the White House not to cut it. It's so funny because there's actually a bill being proposed to take the word Medicare out of Medicare Advantage because Medicare Advantage is not Medicare. It's totally different. There's a funding mechanism uh, being proposed right now by CMS to come up forward. It's in the comment phase right now. May or may not happen, but the Biden administration in their proposed budget is going to reduce some of the payments to Medicare Advantage. Um, here's another news. DC story. liberals fund $200 billion for IRS and Green New Deal pet projects by raiding our Medicare. Now President Biden's proposing massive Medicare Advantage cuts to seniors that could slash over $500 in benefits per retiree. While Biden breaks his promise to 30 million seniors who chose Medicare Advantage, Congresswoman Mary Peltola is silent. So we must be. Tell Mary Peltola to protect Alaska seniors and stop Biden's Medicare benefit cuts. There's nothing more politically charged in the world than talking about cutting Medicare. And in this case, it's reducing the funding for Medicare Advantage, which has been completely out of control, paying way more than original Medicare in recent years. But this proposal right here, if you actually look at the meat of it, they're reducing some of the reimbursements for the star ratings, for one thing. Um, and overall, the independent analysis says that it may be a 1% overall increase. But the Medi Better Medicare Alliance, which is just an industry front group for uh, Humana, United Healthcare, and I'm not sure if Aetna is a part of that or not. Anyway, it's a lobbying group, and like this video, trying to show that they're cutting in one area, but they're not showing where they're actually uh, putting more in another area. And AHIP is another industry inside publication. It's an organization that somehow they've actually gotten it passed where insurance agents who represent Medicare Advantage plans have to be certified with an AHIP test every single year. I've done this now for seven years straight, doing this certification every single year so that we know everything going on with Medicare Advantage. And they've kind of got this locked, but also AHIP is a lobbying arm of the industry and tries to get more and more money just for Medicare Advantage and private plans and pull people out of original Medicare with Medicare supplements. They have no interest in supplements whatsoever. As a matter of fact, when we take the AHIP test every year, we're always shocked that every time they talk about Medicare plans, they're only talking about the Medicare Advantage plans. They're never talking about Medicare supplements, which most agents are never telling people about, which is shocking to me. And we continue to be told every day, you can see it in the comments, the five-star reviews on our uh, Google page. It's always happening where agents are only telling one side of the story. They're only telling about Medicare Advantage and telling people they have to choose 
one of those plans. It's just absolutely not true. And in this story right here from AHIP, it shows that they're reducing payments by 3.12% in 2024, lower quality bonus payments of 1.2% under the Medicare star ratings program, and they're increasing benchmarks that they have to hit. Right. And then this is another part of it. It just says that they're going to reduce it by $540. That's Medicare Advantage reimbursements for seniors starting in 2024. Will it actually happen? Probably not. And then here's another part of the article that says, the analysis by this group finds that the proposed policy changes could lead to billions of dollars in new out-of-pocket expenses for seniors. And that's trying to scare you. Always trying to scare people for an agenda. Of course, the Better Medicare Alliance. Actually, you know who Mary Beth Donahue is? Um, she used to be an administrator with CMS. And it's ironic that she leaves CMS and moves right over to working with AHIP, the industry mouthpiece. So Mary Beth Donahue, if you Google search her name, you'll see where she came from. Now she's the CEO of Better Medicare Alliance, just a lobbying group to promote only one side of the coin, and that's Medicare Advantage. Anyway, she goes on to see here, and you probably can't read it because it's too small. As Medicare Advantage beneficiaries face an average reduction of $540 spent per beneficiary in 2024, the reductions will have a detrimental impact on many of the 30 million beneficiaries who rely daily on the high quality affordable care. I'll tell you, it's not really high quality care when your prior authorizations are routinely denied or you have to go through five layers of appeal. See my earlier video, the report from the Office of Inspector General that says that once they've looked at these appeals that people have to go through over and over and over again to finally get a justified resolution to their case, they're ultimately overturned that initial denial 75% of the time. Why is that, that they're routinely denying care? Is that better quality, high quality care? No. Anyway, and is it actually affordable when you've got a max out of pocket of $7,550 and you're going to the hospital as much as $500 per day to go into the hospital? How affordable actually is that? Or worse, if you actually get cancer on a Medicare Advantage plan, look closely at your summary of benefits and see how much you're out of pocket for cancer treatment. Talking about chemotherapy and outpatient services with regard to chemo and, and cancer treatment, you're paying 20% of that cost. So tell me 20% of a cost of 10 or $13,000 a month, how affordable actually that is for an Advantage plan. I can tell you the people who know, the people who actually deal with seniors that are on those plans each and every day, like I have for the last 10 years on Medicare Advantage specifically from coast to coast that we deal with in our office. But anyway, I digress. The, the cuts could threaten, threaten important benefits such as transportation to medical appointments, healthy meals, because we need to rely on these private insurance companies for all of your meals, vision exams, and preventive dental work. It's interesting that they use the word preventive or preventative, which is redundant, dental work here because the dental that they have with most HMO Medicare Advantage plans is just that. It's just preventive only. The very Mickey Mouse, it's just to say that they've checked the box, they've got dental with their plan. Check it out in detail and actually look at what's covered and what the restrictions are on the network, and you'll finally agree with that. President Biden must honor his promise to protect Medicare by reversing these cuts. These cuts, by the way, were announced right after the State of the Union, where he got everybody to say, we're never cutting Medicare, we're never cutting Medicare. Okay, well, if you're cutting the way that Medicare is actually administered to half the Medicare population then somebody might argue that you might be actually cutting how Medicare is administered to half the population, which is now choosing Medicare Advantage. I'll show you that in a second. And then it goes on to say the cuts could disproportionately impact seniors living on a fixed income and who are unlikely able to pay higher premiums. Well, if you can't pay a premium, and that premium might be for a good Medicare supplement plan, and you opt for a zero premium plan, you better note the costs. And most agents stop short of that with the cost of actually utilizing care. And they just stop at it's zero premium. And maybe you get silver sneakers and you get a drug plan built in. How does that drug plan perform when it's actually looking against your pharmacy and your medicine cabinet and you have to go get those things filled? Is that really the best drug plan? One that's just prepackaged off the shelf? Maybe not. You need a good trusted source who can look at that for you. An estimated 52% of Medicare Advantage beneficiaries live on an income of less than $25,000. That's because these insurance companies are pushing Medicare Advantage, the dual plans that's dual eligible for both Medicare Advantage 
and Medicaid, they're pushing them hard and states are now pushing them hard to get those people off of Medicaid and into these in private insurance companies. That's why the average beneficiary is on a lower income because they're pushing those hard into managed care so they can manage the cost, not your care, compared to 38% of fee-for-service Medicare beneficiaries. Um, and this is just some other things that came out in the last few weeks. Medicare Advantage is still growing, but the growth is slowing. This year, Medicare Advantage enrollment grew by just 1.5 million below the pace set in previous years, and it actually is slowing down. I want you to see this. This is the latest information from 2022, and it shows that 49% of the eligible people are enrolling in Medicare Advantage plans. But we already know, and if you've turned 65 recently or you are, you'll know from the overwhelm of the sales pitches that Clark Howard talked about on a recent video that I did of how much mail will just flood your house, your apartment, your condo when you're about to approach Medicare. And 99% of that's all going to be Medicare Advantage. Why? Because the the prize to the agent of selling you a Medicare Advantage plan when you're brand new to Medicare can be as high as $700 just to get you to sign a piece of paper that has no money involved in it. That's a lot harder. I'm sorry. That's a lot easier of a sale with a higher payoff than taking the time to explain to you that you've got two roads to go. You could go Medicare Advantage or you could go original Medicare, which it's original for a reason. It was the best and you can package with it a Medicare supplement. Now, I'm not saying that a Medicare supplement or Medicare Advantage is right or wrong for everybody. Everybody has to have their own path forward. But we've always believed in my office, which is what we do every day, to listen first and then prescribe. Can you imagine going into a doctor's office and he's got one prescription pad already filled out with a drug that he knows he's going to sell you. He's going to give you that prescription because he was just paid off by the pharmacy representative who just came in, the pharmaceutical rep who came in and gave him donuts and cash bonuses and all that. So the doctor's already got this prescription already filled out for you without even asking anything about your health. And yet 90% of the agents that are out there, especially the new ones, only know about Medicare Advantage. I train them all the time on MedicareAgentTraining.com, a website where we train new agents. They always come to me after they've gone to an agency, and it's all of them out there. And they're, they always say the same thing. I never knew Medigap or Medicare supplements even existed. They never trained me on that. They said, go sign up the people on the free plans. There's a problem with our system, folks, and it's absolutely broken. So this begs the question of me, if I'm looking at 49% last year, sign up for Medicare Advantage plans, hey, what about the other? 51% last year. Did they know something that you don't know? Did they know something that the agents knocking on their door illegally, by the way, because that is illegal and calling them cold call nonstop all the time. Did the 51% know something that the 49% did not know? Did they not get gotten to by those people? That's horrible grammar. They should run that through Grammarly. But you can see here now, the trend is taken off higher and higher that people want a PPO. Why is that? because the restriction of the network on typical Medicare Advantage plan is too dadgum restrictive. So what they're actually buying here, when they're buying a PPO, and you can see this growth going up in the yellow, they're buying a plan that gives them more access to out of network providers. But does it really? The paper says it does. It says you have an out of network benefit. You have a higher max out of pocket if you go out of network. So that must mean that you can go out of the network, right? Well, if you know anybody, and I know hundreds of seniors who've signed up for a PPO just for that reason, so they can go out of the network and guess what happens? They then find out the small print. The small print says that, yes, you can go out of network if the out of network provider agrees to bill the private insurance plan, that's your Medicare Advantage plan, at the rates that the private insurance plan set. Well, it would behoove a reasonably prudent person to understand that if the doctor was going to accept the low rates of a Medicare Advantage plan already, why aren't they in the network already? And so you want this doctor who may be in a different city than yours, a different state, maybe it's the best of the best out there, and you want them to stop everything and bill your private Medicare Advantage company just for you and fill out their unique paperwork to do your one claim for you and accept a lower fee schedule than they would have with either a cash payment or a straight Medicare payment to that provider. It's not likely that it's going to happen. So if you have a PPO plan and you signed up for it on the pretext that I've got a PPO plan, that means I can go to the network. Bet me. 
go check with your PPO provider that you want to use, which is not in the network somewhere, and go see if they're going to readily accept the ability to bill your health plan manually just for you, rather than run that claim through Medicare, like the Medicare supplements do, which means that's why on Medicare supplements, you can go any doctor in the country that accepts original Medicare, which is most all of them. They just bill Medicare and the supplement pays it automatically, automatically. So that's why people are, are taking the PPO route. And it's good to have that as an option better than just an HMO. But reality tells us based on experience that your access to out of network is not all that is cracked up to be in the literature. You really have to look at the small print. And this is very revealing. This is what I've been talking about for years. This is where the profit is. And somebody once told me, some smart person, if you really want to know what's going on, follow the money. Follow the money. Look at this. This is where the insurance companies make their money. This is the gross, the profit margin that they're making on different various types of insurance. And I want to make this just as big as possible so you can see this. In the individual market, which includes Medicare supplement, they're making, well, this is back in 2018. Let's look at today, the most current data that we have. Now today, Medicare supplement companies are making about $745 per year gross margin on Medicare supplement plans, group insurance plans, Medicaid med managed care plans. But look at the difference. This is the differential that they're making on a Medicare Advantage plan. Can you see why companies are leaving the group market, as I'll show you in just a second, they're leaving group insurance and they're going all in on Medicare Advantage. And in prior years, you can see Medicare Advantage paid them even more. The profit was even higher. This is where the trend is. And this is why the carriers are spending so much money putting Joe Namath in your face and that crazy other lady, putting them all in your face. And now Mike Huckabee signed on, bless his heart, to be a pitch man for a company that's going to manage you. Manage, Medicare Advantage yielded the strongest margins for insurers. Another study found, this is from an Axios article, said by the numbers, gross margins for Medicare Advantage averaged $1,730. This was substantially higher than the market seen in the individual market. Obviously, look at that difference. Fully insured group plans. And then it talks about United Healthcare itself had more than 7 million Medicare Advantage members in 2022, up 9% from the last year and Humana, oh, look at that. Humana recently announced plans to exit the commercial group insurance market. Isn't that interesting? An individual market with health insurance. Why would they do that? To focus on Medicare Advantage plans. Hmm. They're expecting a 14% year over year increase. And I don't begrudge any company trying to make money out there. That's great for them. But if there's so much profit in Medicare Advantage, and if you've seen the studies, you've seen my videos talking about the studies out there that show, and this is the government watchdog studies, all the fraud, all the abuse, all the coding errors, just to get more money from you, the government money. And government money, by the way, is your money. That's my money. And I'm paying 50% of every dollar that I make to the government to administer healthcare through plans like this so they can pay private insurance companies to just run away to the bank. And here's the actual press release actually from Humana. Now I'm licensed and contracted with Humana. Maybe not after today. We'll see. But I just like telling the industry news and they put this out there as a press release. So obviously they want people to know this. And it says from Louisville, Kentucky, the press release says Humana today announced that it will be exiting the employer group commercial medical products business which includes all fully insured, self-funded, and federal employee health benefit medical plans. And those were profitable parts of the industry to be in, and they're getting out of it. Why? The company remains committed to the long-term growth of its core insurance lines of business, including, have you ever read the ingredients on dog food? You'll always notice that the biggest ingredient in the dog food is the first one listed. It has to be that way. Uh, similarly here, the company remains committed to the growth of its lines, including Medicare Advantage, Group Medicare, Medicare Supplement to a much smaller degree. This is the size of an ant to an ant hill in the organization of Humana, I can tell you. Medicare Supplement, Medicare Prescription Drug Plans, which are under the same auspices as Medicare Advantage plans. 
The decision enables, this is what the president said, the decision enables humanity to focus resources on our greatest opportunities for growth, growing the bottom line, and where we can deliver industry-leading value for our members and customers. Fantastic. So for those who are not very familiar, because your agents darn sure not going to tell you, unless you've got a fantastic agent that maybe we've trained here over the years, thousands of them. You've got a choice here. You've got original Medicare when you sign up for Medicare at the age of 65 or later, if you continue to work in a group setting, you've got two choices. You can either go Medicare or Medicare Advantage. When you go Medicare Advantage, you still have to pay for Medicare. That's the irony of it. You're still paying full price in most all cases, unless you're usually on a lower income plan, like a special needs plan or dual eligible plan where they're contributing towards your part B, they're getting so much money, they're gonna pay some towards your part B, those are very rarely found. However, most people in Medicare Advantage are still paying for part B of Medicare. The only difference is that money's being rerouted from the government that you're paying in to subsidize part B, it's not really the whole cost of part B by the way, and that's why the trust funds in such shambles. But that money then goes, instead of to the treasury, it goes right over to the Medicare Advantage company if you signed up for an Advantage plan for that 12-month period. So they're getting your money and they're getting subsidized by the federal government if you're on Medicare Advantage. But as I've covered in previous videos about Part B and what it really covers, you don't get to utilize all of Part B if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan. You're paying for it and you don't get the benefits of it. What do I mean? I mean this, if you have cancer, for instance, and you go in for a cancer treatment somewhere. First of all, if you're on Medicare Advantage, you make better make dang sure they're in the network. Because if you're on a Medicare Advantage HMO or a PPO where the provider's not going to take it as payment in full, then you just don't go. You can't go. Cancer Treatment Centers of America, be careful. Mayo Clinic, MD Anderson, be careful. Because they typically don't take Medicare Advantage plans. So you just can't go. But let's say you're going to a, a provider that is in your network. Fantastic. Do you think it's going to be the best oncologist in your county? Maybe, but they do accept Medicare. So you're going in there. And if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you're going to pay 20% of that out of pocket. Okay. If you have original Medicare, same thing would apply, except that now you can go to Cancer Treatment Centers of America. You can go to MD Anderson without thinking about it. You can go to the Mayo Clinic and not worry about it. You can go to Johns Hopkins, anywhere you want to go that accepts original Medicare, and all of them do. And when you get there, Part B of Medicare would also pay 20%, but you can have a Medicare supplement plan that pays the other 20%. So if you have the government's Part B paying 80% that you've paid for your whole life to subsidize Part B, by the way, and your monthly payment into Part B is paying the other part of that, that's paying 80% of your bill, and your supplement pays the other 20%, what is there left to pay? So that's the real question. On the Medicare supplement, on original Medicare, you get to go everywhere and your supplement's going to pay what Medicare doesn't pay. And by the way, crossover is the term where you set up your Medicare supplement once with the insurance company and then Medicare pays the original bill and then Medicare sends the other part of the claim to the insurance company automatically. You don't have to file claims with Medicare supplements. Crossover is the method by which that claim gets passed over to the supplement and you're done. It's just that easy. On Medicare Advantage plans, make sure they're in the network and you don't get the benefit of that other 20% of the payment because Medicare Advantage is not a Medicare supplement. Let me say that very articulately so that the transcript gets picked up. Medicare Advantage is not a Medicare supplement. It is a Medicare replacement. And you can take that to the bank. So again, you're sitting there at your network doctor, oncologist, going through through chemo. You're sitting there for hours hooked up to this machine, and then you get the bill. The bill's not a copay like going to the hospital. It's not a copay like getting an x-ray. It's not a copay like going to the doctor or picking up your prescription drug. It is a co-insurance on cancer treatment with Medicare Advantage. The co-insurance is they're going to take care of 80%. As long as you do the course of treatment and it's prior authorized and you do everything that they say to do, then they'll pay 80%. They don't have that, by the way. With original Medicare, there is no prior authorization. There is no permission to get. 
Medicare Advantage, better get it prior authorized, better get it approved ahead of time and only do the course of treatment that they dictate. And then and only then they'll pay 80% of the bill, giving you a bill for the other 20%. And the agents will say to me, and they'll put it in the comments down here if I'd let them all day long. Yeah, but you're not saying the fact that they're protected with Medicare Advantage because they have a MOOP, a maximum out of pocket that they have to hit. I'll tell you what happened with my grandmother, Helen McClendon. She, she had cancer. She was on a Medicare Advantage plan. I won't say the name, but I've talked about them already today. And she hit her max out of pocket in December. Guess what? Her treatment not over. Her treatment continued into January. As Murphy's Law said, something that can go wrong will go wrong. And most ailments like that are going to happen in the third or fourth quarter of the year and then carry on to the next year. So anytime you see a max out of pocket, as I showed here as one of the comparisons here, you have the max out of pocket on Medicare Advantage, go ahead and assume that you're going to be hitting two of those. Because if anything that you're doing goes into the next year, then you can hit that max out of pocket again. So again, looking at 20% of the cost going into a cancer treatment, if it rolls into the next year, your 20% just keeps on rolling, coming out of your pocket for what was potentially sold to you as a free plan. If you can do me a favor real quick and just hit the like button and then share what we're doing here, trying to tell people the truth about Medicare, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not yet subscribed, you may miss some vital updates on Medicare. Please subscribe to the channel and tell somebody else that they should too. And if you want to find our channel, it's real easy. You go to SeniorSavingsNetwork.org. That's our website. Actually, it's way up there on the top. SeniorSavingsNetwork.org forward slash YouTube. And you can get subscribed immediately just like that. So we have these two ways to go. Original Medicare and get a supplement to take care of the 20% or Medicare Advantage where you give up the rights and remedies and freedoms to go anywhere you want to. And they have to tell you what you can do. And you have to get it prior authorized first. And they tell you where to get that from. And their profits are out of the world on the red side out of this world. And it just may take you somewhere to think about what is their incentive. Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in the woods and I took the one less traveled. Well, if we're talking about Medicare Advantage getting over 50% of the people coming in, maybe Medicare Advantage is now going to be the bigger path. I don't know. With Medicare Advantage, one good thing about it is you never have to health qualify. Oh no, baby, they'll take anybody and everybody. They'll take anybody. You don't have to qualify. Any year that you want to, you can sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan. Now, what does that tell you about the quality of care? They'll absolutely take everybody. First, to me, if they're going to remain profitable, and we saw that they already are, they must be making a heck of a lot of money on the healthy people and the sick people. Actually, they get paid more for the sick people. See the video on upcoding, and you'll see how that scam works. But you can only sign up for Medicare Advantage plans. When you're brand new to Medicare, you've got a period to do it then. Or every year you can opt to go into a Medicare Advantage plan. And these, these plans change absolutely every single year, sometimes very drastically. You'll have hospitals leaving, doctors leaving, and they can leave anytime they want during the year. But your plan is a 12-month contract, and that's it. So you can also drop those plans. And we're happy to be in this period right now where I'm talking about this today. It ends March 31st where you can drop a Medicare Advantage plan and go back to original Medicare. I'll give you a link on that. You can find out more. Meanwhile, on the other side of the coin, the road less traveled today, original Medicare is where you can get a Medicare supplement to go along with it. There are no health questions. There's no qualifying at all for that if you do it within six months of starting Part B, if you do it within six months of starting Part B. After that, you can still sign up for a Medicare supplement plan anytime during the year if you don't have any other coverage. You just may have to go through health questions. And a vast majority of the agents that even sell Medicare supplement plans and educate people on them like we do they don't know how the underwriting works. Isn't that bizarre? So all they're doing literally is chasing people turning 65 day in, day out. Seminars, mailers, advertising on Facebook. All they want are the people turning 65. And that's it. I started my career helping people that were paying like $300, $400 a month because their agent when they turned 65 just completely disappeared off the earth. And most of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. You heard your agent. You saw them all the time. They were very responsive to you until you signed up for a plan at 65. Then you never heard from them again. Meanwhile, your rates are creeping up and up and up. You're like, I need to call an insurance company. I need to call somebody. Who do I call? That's why I started in the business, because we would regularly save people $100, $200 a month by shopping the market, which you have to do every year. Anytime you get a rate increase on Medicare supplement, don't just take it. Let somebody shop the market for you. But in order to do that, they have to know how underwriting works. 
I explain how underwriting works at this website. You can see right down here, seniorsavingsnetwork.org forward slash underwritten. If you want to see how the underwriting works, go through some sample questions and tell you how the process works. It's not hard to do. There's no blood work. There's no exam. It's just some questions. Very easy. But on a Medicare supplement plan, there is no network. You can go anywhere you want to in the United States. There are no prior authorizations or referrals required. Most people in advance are like, wait a minute, what? Can that really happen? Yeah. All day, every day, we help people with that. Very low out-of-pocket cost because you're on the supplement plan. It's taking care of that 20%. And it's guaranteed renewable. They can never kick you off those plans, Medicare supplement, no matter how bad your health gets. So you get it when you're healthy, either at 65, brand new to Part B, or going through underwriting. And then you're hoping that you stay healthy. But if you're not, you've got the best possible care that there is. On a Medicare Advantage plan, I just want to summarize by letting you know, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, we're talking to, what, 39% uh, of the population, 40-something percent of the population has a Medicare Advantage plan now, either an HMO or a PPO, I strongly suggest you add cancer coverage to that. Cancer coverage is a very simple process. Usually the only questions are, have you had cancer in the last five years? Cancer is one of the leading causes of death and disability for people that are over 65. That's when it strikes people the most. And with a cancer plan, it's very simple to obtain. I literally bought a cancer insurance policy on everybody that works here. It's critical that you have $10,000, $20,000, $25,000 in cash so you can choose to go anywhere you want to. And in the case of Medicare Advantage, I would want you to have double your max out-of-pocket exposure. So if your max out-of-pocket is $7,500, I want you to have at least $15,000, maybe some more for some travel from somebody who's going to come in from the family and take care of you, take off some time from work, or pay for those prescription costs, which is a huge part of the cancer treatment seen today. They're trying to get away from office-administered chemo to more coming through the pharmacy, and that means it's coming from your drug plan or the drug plan part of your Medicare Advantage. Always good to have a cancer insurance plan, especially with a Medicare Advantage plan. You just can't be without it. A hospital indemnity plan is a very inexpensive insurance policy. It's an indemnity thing that says if you trigger it by going to the hospital, it pays you. So if you go in the hospital and Medicare Advantage plan, it's going to cost you $2,000. If you had a hospital indemnity plan that pays you $2,000 when you go, that's taken care of. So somebody who's got a $40 uh, monthly premium for hospital indemnity, but a zero monthly premium for their Advantage plan, now they plug that hole. And if they go into the hospital, they're going to be reimbursed for that. And then a real dental vision hearing plan. We have access to those, not just a preventive one, not just a network plan, where you can literally go anywhere you want to and get taken care of your dental and your vision needs and hearing aids. But those are some things you'd probably want to add to a Medicare Advantage plan if you've chosen to go that route. If you've got your little handy dandy smartphone with you, you can scan this by taking a picture of it with your cell phone. You literally just put your cell phone up to it. You put your cell phone up to the screen like right now, and you would actually see Hang on, let me put it back in there. This little image over here, and this image will be picked up by your phone and take you right to our website. And there it asks you some questions like, what's your situation? And we can help you with that. We are coast to coast in our agency. We give people the honest options, all the options. Do we make more money if we sign up somebody on a Medicare Advantage plan? Yes, we do. But we don't operate as a nonprofit. We operate as an educational-based agency. In every agency that's out there, everybody you see on YouTube that's giving you education about insurance, we're paid the same way. We're paid by the insurance company. So if you call my office and you find out that XYZ insurance company in your little part of small town USA uh, has the lowest rate because we tell you, because we've got access to that, we can see all the rates across the country. If we tell you that information and you let us help you with the enrollment, it doesn't cost you anything. But what it does is it creates an accountability partner, that's us, that checks back in with you to make th sure things are going right. And we reach out to our clients every year when they get their rate increases to find out if there may be something better in the market. An alert goes off in our office if you get a rate increase more than $15 a month. And we're going to do everything we can to reach out to you and at least give you the option. It's your option. Do you want to look at another plan that may save you even more money? The industry's changing all the time, but the Medicare supplements never do. If you have a plan G from 10 years ago, it's the same plan G. If you have a Medicare supplement plan N, it's the same plan N. Things are still covered. There's still no prior authorization. There's still no referral required to go there. 
So we have a whole team of people that are re ready, willing, and able, and they're very sweet people. We train every week on new things happening with Medicare, things that may impact you, opportunities for you to change plans that other people just simply may not know about because we pool our collective knowledge and study the industry intently every day, actually helping people with Medicare. And it's across the country from Florida all the way to California and everywhere in between from the North to the South. We're helping people with Medicare choices. I encourage you to let us help you. If you feel so led, here's our contact information. If we can help you. My name is Christopher Westfall. Thanks for watching this video. Please share this information with anybody that you know that has an upcoming Medicare decision to make. We'd like to be your accountability partner and help you with your Medicare plan. Our service does not cost a thing. Um, actually, I've got a website that explains that. You're wondering, how do you get paid? How do you get paid? Oh, it's not on here. How do you get paid.com? Go look at that. How do you get paid.com? Explains how we get paid. Here's some other resources. How to start Medicare, which is how to get signed up for Medicare. Startpartd.com is how to start your Part D drug plan, when you can do it and what options are available. You can literally sign up right there. All about Medicare Advantage is research we've done on Medicare Advantage that we want to share with you from other industry experts and people who have actually worked for the industry and the government itself. And then if you want to find a Medicare Advantage plan, you can go to Medicare Advantage near me, near me.com and see what those are. And this is the dental vision hearing plan I talked about, AmericanDentalCoverage.com. You can see what that is. If you're on Medicare due to disability under the age of 65, look at your options here, MedicareOnDisability.com. I'm Chris Westfall. God bless you. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Take care. Bye-bye.